doing so much to support the mental wellness of students, faculty, staff, patients, and all of Buckeye Nation. Thank you, Dr. Thomas, for your support of mental health and wellness research at the Wexford Medical Center. Thank you, Dr. Fawn, for your groundbreaking work to better understand resilience. And to the dedicated staff members from Harding Hospital who are here with us this morning, thank you for all that you do to care for those with mental health needs. We feel very fortunate to be able to support this important work happening here at Ohio State. This work benefits entire families. That's why it was so important to us that our children, Grace and Nia, be with, her, with us today. RJ is unfortunately in football practice. <laughs> Resilience. The ability to bounce back from adversity is a powerful shield. Just as we build physical strength, building resilience in our lives can make us stronger. Mental health professionals are constantly improving the treatment of depression, anxiety, and other mental health challenges, and that work is critically important. But resilience is something we can all work on and develop to help us overcome challenges. As we all know, today's fast-paced world can bring stressful obstacles, including some that we don't see coming. Like all families, we have shared great moments and successes while also experiencing heartache and struggle. We want our kids to understand that life is about enjoying the highs and managing the lows. We want our children to have the resilience to thrive in the face of adversity. And if they ever face a challenge that feels too big to handle, we want them to be empowered to ask for help. That's why we think, that's why we feel every parent wants for every child. And that's why Ryan and I feel so strongly about advocating for mental health. We partnered with Nationwide Children's Hospital in 2019 to create a fund for pediatric and adolescent mental wellness. We believe that Honor Sleep's campaign not only is helping to break the stigma surrounding mental health, but also educating our youth and providing them tools and resources. And now we are so pleased to create this fund for resilience to help the Ohio State University of Webster Medical Center focus on the mental health needs of college-aged people and adults. It's a little different press conference than I'm used to, so. <laughs> Exciting. As, as some of you know, supporting mental health services and ending the stigma around mental illness are causes that are very dear to our heart. Ohio State has been ver very good to our family, and we feel that investing in the mental wellness of Buckeye Nation is a tremendous privilege and the right thing to do. Nina and I know from our own experiences what a great difference mental health care can make in the life of someone who is hurting. Our circle of care for the Buckeye football players, which includes mental health along with physical wellness and, and the support that they need. When Nina and I spoke to the Ohio State 2020 graduates at a delayed celebration last year, we shared some of what has helped us through the times and the difficult times of being a Division I football family. The first one, find people that can confide and draw wisdom from, a good coach. Draw strength from the people you love who are in your corner but are also honest with you, a strong team. And even when life gets really tough and you don't feel okay, remember that there are really good things around you. Celebrate the joy where you can find it. I think all three of those strategies are part of being resilient, but there's much more to be learned about resilience and how to cultivate. Dr. Lawan Fawn leads the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Health at The Ohio State College of Medicine. He's committed to research that can improve our understanding and treatment of anxiety and mood disorders. He also has been a pioneer in resilience studies at Ohio State and elsewhere, and is the Chair for Psychiatry and Resilience at the College of Medicine. When breakthroughs happen in science, it often turns out they were funded by philanthropy. Funds made available with research with relatively few conditions attached. The freedom made possible by this kind of giving allows brilliant scientists like Dr. Fawn to follow their intuition in whatever direction it takes them. Private philanthropy has been called America's unique research advantage, and no other nation in the world has the culture of private giving like we do here in the United States. This American scientist, this gives American scientists the, greater, the greatest ac access to funds for early stage research and projects that might fail, but on the other hand, could change the world for the better. It's our hope that this fund can be part of doing just that. Just about every challenge we face as individuals and as a society is easier to overcome with better mental health and that comes from resilience. I invite our fellow Buckeyes to join us in supporting this work 
and to building a healthy community. Healthy community. President Johnson, I want to thank you again for your leadership in making mental health a priority here at Ohio State. Dr. Thomas, I want to thank you for making the Wexner Medical Center a special place where great work can be done. I also want to thank Gene Smith for all the support that he puts towards mental health with all of our students at Ohio State. And now I'll invite Dr. Fawn to explain the work he and his colleagues are doing to help Buckeye Nation and the world become more resilient. Thank you. Couldn't have said it better than Nina and Coach Day have said it so far. So, uh, very eloquent and passionate words for sure. Uh, thank you, Coach Day, uh, Nina, for supporting this effort. Certainly, thank you, President Johnson and um, Andy for, for really being a leader in this space as well, and, and Dean Bradford, and much of our leadership here. Your generous $1 million gift uh, is transformative. Uh, obviously, it's going to add resources to things that we want to provide, but it becomes a catalyst because you start the conversation. Other people can now speak more openly about the struggles that they're, uh, they're going through. And I really wanna thank you for being a champion for resilience. Um, as we all know, we've endured a lot of stress these last three years, um, and, and certainly mental health challenges is on, on a continuum. On one end, it's an illness, uh, it's a disorder, but then on the other end, it's about just struggling languishing, just trying to struggle through the day-to-day -day, day -day stressors that we all have. And, and it's lasted, unfortunately, a lot longer than we had hoped. Um, and, and I think that's what we want to think about going forward, uh, which is how to spin the paradigm from taking care of illness towards prevention, towards resilience, towards building and cultivating resilience. Resilience, as Coach Day said, is the ability to bounce back. Not only to bounce back, but to learn, to adapt, thrive, and even do better than we, what we had before. And, take, uh, and, and typically our department has taken care of people in the deep end. We'll always be there to take care of people in the deep end. It's more, it's more now important, as Coach Day knows really well, we can't play defense all the time. We have to take the offense. And to me, the resilience game is really a, uh, an offense game. Uh, Desmond Tutu said, uh, you know, a couple years back when he won the Nobel Peace Prize, and it's a mantra I really hold dear to my heart, which is, there comes a point where you need to stop pulling people out of the river. You gotta go upstream and figure out why they're falling in the first place. And this is where we are gonna be turning our science and our research into, which is, not everyone does poorly after adversity and stress, People have skills, people have ability to bounce back and do well. What can we learn in the science of resilience to cultivate that so that we can give those same skills to other people so that they can do better when it comes to challenges of mental health, uh, illness, and addiction? The generous gifts from the days uh, and many others will begin to propel that mission, that science, that research, and then how to transform that to strategies and treatments for our communities. We need to fight mental illness just like we fight cancer, just like we fight heart disease, just like we fight any other physical illness. And for us in our department at Harding Hospital, mental illness, physical illness are one and the same. And I think we need to have that kind of conversation going forward. So how do we go forward to, 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 to do that? And I think that what we want to build is a center for psychiatry and resilience where we bring researchers and clinicians together so that we can transform the care that we do with patients right away into the research that we're doing and vice versa. I think that's really, really important. Our department has grown by double since I've arrived three years ago. We've tripled our extramural funding by the NIH and other extramural sources. And the center itself will bring together scientists and clinicians, just like when you go to the cancer center here at the James or at the heart, heart hospital, you know that you're gonna meet the best minds to solve the, the, the mind's biggest problem. So we wanna do the same thing for mental health. And given that Ohioans has suffered, perhaps struggled with any other state uh, in parallel uh, across the country, we are ground zero for making a difference. We, we have a shared experience in COVID, we have a shared, shared experience in the trauma that it's brought. 
and now bringing them together a center will, will really drive that going forward. We want to create a safe space. Uh, as Heron Miller, when I talked to him, he sort of said as a student, I wish it wasn't weird to bring up mental health. I, I wish it was okay. Um, and I think we want to create a, uh, an experience where peers come together to support one another. Because I think shared experience, lived experience, is really fundamental to how we move forward uh, in, in society. And lastly, a lot of families come to me and they sort of say, I don't know where to go. You know, I have, a, I have an issue. I don't know what to do, how to get help. And uh, unless, like, Andy has my cell phone, he can call me right away, <laughs> so that, that's not a problem. But, uh, but I think what we really need is navigators in this space, uh, because families really need people to guide them to the next important step in their care. So I think that's going to be a really important part of, of our study as well. Um, as I've shared with you before, we have a big proposal in front of the state to really think about studying risk and, and resilience, modifiable factors that we can bring into the home, into the schools, into the workplace, in which we develop strategies to modify those risk factors, to essentially shift somebody's risk from being vulnerable to being strong and, and, and surviving stress. And I think that's gonna be life-saving going forward. Certainly, the science is still very young, and obviously a gift like that of the days, the Resilience Fund, will bring the best minds to Ohio. I think that's gonna be the ultimate thing. I've been really lucky to surround myself with really great talented people in the department and recruit new people, but we need to do more and more of that going forward so that we bring the best minds to tackle those problems here in Ohio. So with the support of champions like Nina and Ryan Day, we are quickly gaining ground it's gonna be a big paradigm shift. We believe that their generous effort and gift will inspire others to do the same. And it's really about the community. It's about bringing as many leaders as possible into joining us in this fight. And with the help of Buckeye Nation, we're gonna win. We're gonna be a winning, winning, win the moment. Um, and that's gonna be really important. So go Bucks. Thank you very much for your support. And uh, look forward to uh, sharing more updates going forward.